Well, Tap, tell me this. You're out on a pack trip and it starts to rain. What do you do? Well, you just live with the weather. <laughs> put on a rain coat. Yeah, you put on. Uh, where's my saddle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, see the rain coat's on the back of the saddle. Yeah. She's going to make you put it on, huh? Well, you're, uh, you won't catch pneumonia on my watch, okay? No, I, n I never do. No, you won't. Why, well, you want to... Before he does anything else? Uh, no, because I, I like to have him talk on... Oh, okay. Uh, tell what's going on here. Okay. It's just the one I'll on the right. I'll use that. I'll use Can you level it out for me? Sure. Thanks. Use shotgun mic, yeah. Magazine and stuff. Was that, did you join it before they had all those yeah. write-ups? Um, were you... I think so. Were you influenced at all by any of the... I don't want to call it PR, but you know, the buzz about the tank in, in deciding to be a ski trooper? Uh, let's see, how did I ever... <clears throat> no, I was in the 10th uh, the Mountain. I had to get into something because I was going to be drafted, so they, they, uh, when they said mountain troops, I, was, I just uh, said that's where I want to want to go and because I already uh, spent a lot of time in the woods and and climbing around in uh, Mount Shikoro and and, and uh, Mount Washington and staying at the hut and uh, at Pinkham Notch. Did you I, have a feeling that the 10th Mountain was special? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I knew it was special because all the guys that were enlisting in, into the mountain troops were either from Sun Valley or, or like with Nate Morrell and all those guys in the, from back east in Snyder's Ski School and uh, the guy and Bennett from, from uh, Sun Valley and Bill Klein from the, uh, from the West Coast. So I, I knew all of those guys and so I just knew it was special for what, skiing. What did you think of all the... Uh the PR about the elite ski yeah. troops. Oh, I thought it, I thought it, no one else could ski like us. <laughs> so we should be there. Did you think that some of the way they glamorized the ski troops was a little over the top? I didn't pay any attention to that, no. I, well, how about when uh, <coughs> Warner Brothers turns up and makes a film at Camp Hale? Yeah, I didn't care. I don't think I was in it even. I might have been. Now, Tap, there's three pictures here, and I want you to describe to me. Let's give you a lot of time. You have to tell me who some of these people are. Not yet. Okay, let me, let me see. You want me to check on these people? Yeah, tell me who those people are. And why is there a mugshot? Yeah, this is my father. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I'd like to find out about the mugshot stuff. Oh, and this is... This is me when I was a baby, and this is me when I was in the army. And the mugshot is my father, the the bottom one. Yeah. Yeah. What's he in for? He's not in pain. Did he, did he got numbers on him? I hope he. he... Did we got the flight up at the basketball court. Yeah, I was a little baby kid, and he took me to the because he played basketball for uh, for a team, Massachusetts. And he took me and put me up in the balcony to watch. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, there was, seemed to be an argument. And, uh, and, uh, they, they, and the two referees came and took my father away for, so he wouldn't beat up the guy. Oh. And, and I was way up there. I, th I didn't know where they were going. So I was hollering, Daddy, where are you going? <laughs> and he... <laughs> That's rough. Yeah, that was... Now, um, the, the large photo on the left, um, Warren, can you get as many possible what? takes on that one? That looks like a nice dress uniform day for you. Yeah. I but was, you didn't have too many of those. No, I was, I was on furlough, so I, I, a weekend pass or something. What would you think of all that dress-up spit and polish? Oh, I tried to dress up nice, especially when I went to town. Yeah. On balance, would you say you spent much time in that sort of uniform? No, not very much time. But when I did, I, I felt good. Well, you're very styling, you're not. Yeah, it's blonde yet. 
Every time she sees a picture like that, she says, oh, I wasn't even born yet. <clears throat> then I, I could play the violin. We can't have all now. just rough, tough, and stuff. You gotta have a violin or something. So you, it was, that's a, I'm not rough and tough. Mm -hmm. Play the violin, and I don't even know where it is anymore. I can play a good tune. Yeah, we'll get you doing that. Yeah. Cool. We'll do it outside, though. Outside? Why would it be muffled in here? Yeah, I'm just thinking that. You're an outside guy, man. I like to. Yeah, I like but to so I play the time. violin. What? Viola. You play the fiddle or the violin? The viola. It's a. Uh, Instead of the E, A, D, and G, like on a violin, it's A, D, G, and C. So it's a one string lower. I like it, it's more mellow. Mm -hmm. I heard it in, uh, <clears throat> I was just sick and tired of playing a little violin, so I went into that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so he said, well, yours is worth $25, and this is worth 150 How are you going to do that? I said, I'm going to send the Vandy who uh, had the bank, I used to take him out elk hunting, uh, Vanderhoof, uh, from Glenwood Springs. He owned the bank there. And I said, Vandy, I need, I need $150. What for? I said, I want to buy a viola. Well, he said, what the hell is a viola? I said, it's a musical instrument. He said, you really want it? I said, yeah. He said, OK. it'll." It'll be there in the morning, <laughs> and so he sent me the, he sent me money somehow, to, uh, well, Western Union, yeah, and then I went and bought the violin, uh, the viola, and it's in the house. You you'll see it. It was it was such a good deal. I couldn't uh, the the tone of it made me want it, and uh, since I like music and I played the harmonica a lot. I just and then I've had that viola on my boat and I've had it in Baja and but I've always and I and uh, Thelma of Knowles made me a sleeping bag for it. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Mount Sitka up in Alaska. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, yes, it was a uh, across the bay from Dutch Harbor. There was this volcano. Island and, and it had snow on the upper part of it and uh, I hadn't skied for some time and so uh, I started with uh, I wanted to ski it and uh, now there was a I think John K. Hatch and Derry's they went up part way but I said I want to go up further and wax my skis by the fu funerals just to say I did it now there was the main, I could look down into it and see the roar, and it was coming right up through the center, but off to the sides, there was these little yellow uh, spots that uh, of sulfur, but there was a stream of uh, maybe a half inch or to a quarter of an inch of uh, fumaroles coming right up, and so I had some wax with me, and, some, and the snow was wet, so I just, put my uh, skis over the fumarole and get them all hot, but it actually it, it put little beads of water on it too, but it didn't matter. I could still smooth the wax out and I was able to ski down with it until I got down, down towards the ocean. There's a submarine base right off of that. And, uh, but uh, that's just off of Vedak out into to the island there. And this dashing figure. Huh. Yeah, I, I was on a patrol. I was on the patrol with my dog Mike. This was in the Aleutian Islands. Mm -hmm. And there was only 12 of us with the National Outdoor Leadership. No, no. Uh, no. Uh, where? Jeez. No, it was, uh, uh, the uh, uh, North, Pacific North Pacific Combat School. And, and I was out looking for. Uh, for uh, any chance that the Japanese were on the island. And so my dog was very, very good. I didn't take any chances for, with myself. 
Now, Darius was with me. He took the picture, so there were two of us. And uh, we were just out scouting around and didn't care if we found anybody anyway. But I, my dog would find anything that we wanted to. So we, I was walking, walking, I'm trying to think of, you know, we just got to uh, circumnavigate the island, and it would probably be a 10-mile walk. And we would just walk and look for caves and look for any anything, and then come back to report to Colonel, uh, my Colonel anyway, Forrest, and say everything's okay. And then he he'd make a report to somebody that everything, that there was no, no caves or anything. What was the topography of these islands? Tundra. And elevation. Sea level to, eight hundred feet maybe for a hill, for a big hill. And they are what in origin? Volcanic. But they're lost. <laughs> this is in 1943, I can see by the writing on the back of it. Yeah, that was in the Army. We were out, this is the days we were doing our snow caves. And. Uh, I assume you're at Hale? Yeah, that, that's in Colorado. Five feet, four feet, four and five feet, depending on the slope, where the sun and the wind got a hold of it. Did it feel like it was a lot more snow in those days compared to nowadays? Yeah, from where I go, I don't go, go up in there so much anymore, but yeah, probably the same. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I can get back up into the back country here and get in four feet of snow, too. Do you um, do you think that it is as deep these days, though? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you can get in some pretty deep snow. Well, I heard that on the D series maneuver it's over Easter Sunday of 1944, it snowed eight feet in this one weekend. Yeah. Yeah, you just don't see that. Yeah, while they were up. In when 1944? 1944 wow. Easter. Easter, yeah. Like when I go back and look at people's letters that they wrote, it was just, it was just wow. it's very difficult. But you don't hear about eight foot snowfalls anymore in the course of a two or three day. An eight foot, yeah. no, that would be something. But are these guys, well, these guys aren't up that much higher than the native population now. We hear about them. No, it wouldn't have to be too high, about five, six thousand. They left them. Oh, wow. But these guys woke up and they're like, where is everybody? Yeah. It, and then they're starting to yell at them. Big, and, like, and you're warm right as back. toast in a tent covered with snow. You're just warm as toast, but you can still breathe fine. Well, you were in a tent for a long time, too, and they all got covered. Right? Yeah, for the shirt. Yeah, that's whitefish, and then uh, and then way over to the right is the national race course. I forget who sent us these pictures. Hmm? I forget who sent us these pictures. All of these pictures? No, Maybe Betty. Somebody, where'd they come from? Who 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 brought oh, these? Bart, Bart and Rich. I had them. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's. Well, I was teaching skiing at, at the Whitefish. Whitefish, Montana. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's Sassy, Blue Boy, Pancho, Sitkin, Sitka. Yeah, there they are, Blue Boy. Yeah, yeah, and now a homemade a uh, homemade sled and a homemade harnesses. I did all those. Uh, I made all those harnesses. Maybe that came from Cleo. Yeah, why well, she gave us some. So were you teaching this, or was this a mode of transportation? It was just something. I, I, I was teaching at Whitefish, and I had the dog team there, and I could make money by bringing people, or giving them rides. And I did this, and I took them all to uh, Wisconsin too. I took, the, I had a big, I had a big army six by six, and I bought a horse, a dead horse, and I put it in the back, and the dogs were all in the back too, and uh, they were all, all tied. But I had about six dogs, and uh, then I just feed them. 
I'd stop at Havel, Montana, different places, and tie the dogs to the parking meters and feed them horse meat. <laughs> chop it. I'd have to chop the horse meat. Because they got to eat something. Yeah. It was just like a big piece of meat, and they'd get about a pound of that, and then they'd, I'd give them dog food, What too. season was it? You know, and I had a big army six by six. I don't know how I did all that stuff. That was crazy. But no, it was good. It was fun, and the truck ran good. Oh, there's Tony Matt, Gene Gillis, uh, yeah. the Fleming, yeah. Fleming girls. They were they were all. Uh, they were all uh, racers. Look at the pants from Irving. They gave us all pants. Rhonda, Rhonda Fleming, Rhonda, Jean Gillis, Tony Matt. Loud hmm? pants. Yeah, the the pants that would uh, rattle when you go down hills. But they were Irving pants from a very fine tailor or something. Or other. Like uh, they were pretty cool. That's the style. Nowadays they have those nylon warm-up suits. Yeah. You can't Everybody interview does. anybody in one because you move your arm and it's like sandpaper. Yeah. <laughs> no, this this was we were comfortable. We could still ski. Gene Gillis to Tony Matt. Is that, is that is that is a great picture. Oh, that is. It's from Cooper's Hill, right there. Oh, I get. April 10th, 1943. I sent it to my mother. And you've been out sleeping in the snow in a snow cave. <laughs> well, okay. I probably was. And the mountain in the back is Homestake, right? Home, Homestake Mountain. Easter. Home of the famous Homestake Maneuvers. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe from Cooper Hill. I don't know where it was. Yeah, it's, the back said you, you said he never preached there. Oh, yeah. That's where we trained. Did train a lot of skiers. Can we shoot homestake? Let's keep it inside for me. As tight as you can get in. Well, I've got a little mock up there. There was a mock. You see, there was a mock. Mock it up. Yeah. I just I had another layer of mock to it, and I didn't pawn it off. Looks worse than the Vietnam War. Yeah, it looks great. Boy, this is quite a procedure. Mm -hmm. Almost done. Yeah, yeah, we're almost. I think I have one more picture, and then those two, and then. Oh, I have a bite to eat. And then yeah, you want? Should we recharge? I'll fill up your gas tank. Burritos. Yeah. You want to get a picture with the horse with the saddle on? Oh yeah. And probably you on it. All right. Yep. And then maybe one of the viola. Hold the sun and a little bit of viola yeah. and a little bit of tomahawk thorn. And if, cause if you have too much noise in something, then you can always throw the viola and fill it, sound it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's part of our audio fix and post plan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Note to self. That's true, I'll always have the authentic soundtrack, won't yeah. I? Yeah. That's a good idea. I, that's, you know, on the picture one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Really no, you can't. I thought you could. You guys are good for trying. Yeah, we try. It's impressive. Hey, I'm learning a lot here. I'll tell you what, you'll never be sorry for overshoot. You'll never be sorry. Oh. Skiing much with a pack. This is 1943? 1943. 1943. Okay. We didn't ski with our skis so close together with a pack. And that's an open Christie, I think. Is it my lower skis are a little open? Yep. I didn't like that. Did you find that skiing with the pack was difficult? No, not after a while. Yeah, I, I guess it was always difficult. But what was the hard part of it? About skiing with a pack? You you couldn't swing like you wanted to. You'd have to do m more weighted turns. And how about the hard part about getting up once you fall down with the pack? Well, you take your pack off, pick it up. How much did you weigh? I weighed 150. And how much did your pack weigh? About 80, 60. Fell down. Do you think you could get up with your pack? Not, not really very good, because your bindings. Otherwise, you'd have to take your bindings off. You know, 
you take your skis off. And then if you took your skis off, I guess I've done it, take your skis off and, and step down and, and you go up to your knees or further up to your waist in snow, then you got to struggle to get back on your skis and then pick up your pack again. And no, you don't want to fall down. I try not to. When you got, say, a thousand people wearing those packs, you get a few that would get kidney uh, trouble from wearing them because they sit right in there on your kidneys. And especially you put 80 pounds of stuff in it. Yeah. They've got a song of 90 song pounds of rock, sack a pound of grub or two, he'll shush the mountain like his daddy used to do. You know that song? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've sung it many times. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, my poor daughter, she gets to the top of Mount Washington, and that's when she finds out there's four yeah. bottles of wine in it. I wonder her I was so happy. Yeah. And she didn't drink, right? I tried to get her. And since she was drinking, I... I uh, some guy had some beer, and I said, well, why don't you try this? And it was like Miller Light. And she's like, Pfft. and I'm like, good. That's <laughs> best not to she taste wanted something dark. Taste I told her, like, if you're going to drink beer, at least drink good beer. Exactly. Yep. It's not going to be Miller Light. Yeah, I, I would like to get my daughter to drink at home. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Under my supervision. So I can make sure she's drinking good beer. <laughs> and not driving. Yeah. No, she's... She'll probably be riding yeah. a horse. Had that buffalo robe. I had to wrap up in that. And a wig. You look good in a wig. <laughs> yeah. Probably better than, <laughs> better than what I look without. We got a lot of pictures. Uh, hmm? Your house is like an art gallery. Yeah, that's. Well, it sneaks up on you, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yes, you keep getting. Yeah, you get a book on some level about this big. Oh, so prolific, huh? Yeah, that's probably on some level. Yeah, and we've got it. And I, and I stood for quite a few pictures, but um, he... Do you have a contact over at Outward Bound? Because uh, I'll probably need to get some footage at some point. And, you know, a name, a number, just somebody that would make it a little speedier for me to get through. Yeah. It's, or somebody who could kick me to the right person. Yeah, yeah. No, we don't have any contact at Outward Bound. Most of them are at malls. Um. Well, I can, I can figure it out. I mean, do you, do you know anybody? I mean, I can just, I can Google it. Really, I really don't either. I can make a few calls and figure it out. You, you don't happen to have any pictures from Outward Bound. I saw a whole bunch of slides, but. We have a lot of pictures. Um, I think I got this big. Oh, gosh, we'd be here all day. And that's what I was getting to earlier. They're, they're really not accessible. Oh yeah, okay. Um, I'll I'll get some footage from. I'll get some footage for us with them. Like they're not organized in any fashion. Yet. So do you have any favorite outward bound photographs that you think of? Sea of flames. Yeah, it's we just attract them. No. Mm -hmm. Looks like them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You bet.
the, the crapping was the part of the uh, part of the shot, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get you. Dave, make sure I don't step in the crap, please. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Boy, he's fast. Tap is fast. You should not stand up. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I moved around quickly. I know that. Good you can brush your head to top. Go ahead. Oh, you can work on tail? I could do that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, stand where I won't get hit. Am I in the poop there, Dave? Make sure I'm not in the poop. Nice. Let her rip. So you always put it forward and slide it back so the hairs are always leaning backwards. Just check the other side. Okay, oh, how'd that get way down there, huh? All right. She's not used to so many people mm -hmm. being around. Like Thank you. 
good. Back road. Thank you. Come on. This is kind of close in, but we'll do it anyway. Come on, boy, come on. Kind of like a well, let me see if I can get this on. I gotta, gotta make this bigger. Let's see what you look like before I go any further. Too tight. <laughs> I guess it'll be all right. I better walk her around a little bit because she's all excited about cameras and stuff. You're all excited, aren't you? Okay. Can you walk right by me? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, just, just let uh, wait just a second. Just. Uh, okay. You all ready? Right. Are you ready now to act good? All right. Now we need the bridle. Do we have a bridle for him? Yeah. What? Yeah, I'll I'll walk down here and back. She wants to see the other horse. Well, she wants to see the other horse. Okay. Uh, you want to go through the gate or anything? He's just a little excited. <laughs> Come on, this isn't going to hurt you. This isn't going to hurt one bit. You got big eyelashes. It's true, huh? <laughs> no big flash now. <laughs> no flash. Come on, what? It's just that so many people. Oh, that's no. all. Okay. No. I'll put it over the halter. I don't remember this down thing that goes in the. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab the rope. Those like one of those red things goes on each side, I think. I always like to see somebody else struggle with the halter. Well, if it was your horse, it wouldn't struggle. 
No, she usually doesn't do this. Are you be She's all excited. Now come on. You're gonna rip your saddle. Okay, you're better now. Well, let's let's let it settle take, a minute. Take a minute. Is this her bridle? Yes. I gotta get to the lowest spot. Okay. Put your, don't, there's a, more of a hole right there where she. Okay, try it here. Step on. Need a help? Yeah, probably. She's so excited. She might. Can I help? Yeah, just hold yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Is it okay? Yeah. All right. See if I get my. All right, go. All right, girl. <laughs> And get my foot up. Hey, do you want to bring them over here and you can just mount from the step? Yeah. Can you grab my. You can get it in a hole and I can't. Piece of thread there. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could hold it. Yeah. yeah. This will be. <laughs> this is cheating. Come on, a little bit more. I don't know what you're going to do after I get on. Jesus. <laughs> Want to hold her head, maybe? Mm -hmm. She's just so excited. We can usually just get on her in the corral. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh. There, yeah, she's, I think she's quieting down. Yeah, yeah just, just hold her there. Oh. Oh. Easy, wait, Tony. I'll try it. Shh, do, 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 do. Slick her over there. Yeah. You can hold her very well. Well, you can let her go. Yeah, good girl, Bill. I'll take her for, for a little walk first. <laughs> 